Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rinse at a time. Back with this Friday expert, friend of the channel, and someone who has helped me personally, Mr. Stephen Dow from Velocity Mortgage. How are you doing, sir? I'm fantastic. And yourself? I'm doing well, man. Uh, I, I am... Uh, <laughs> Every day, every day I look at rates, I am thankful that you and I took action over the last six or nine months. And oh, by the way, we've shared with our channel, it was time to step up, get some dry powder uh, and get ready for what is coming. So again, you brought me some 30-year money on apartment buildings and my office building, which is not normal. So I greatly appreciate it. Before we get right. into topic number one, give me the marketing spiel, which I almost oh, forgot. Oh, I thought you were going to forget. Yes, man. Oh, Again, although I work very happily for Velocity Morris Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel uh, and pontificated on this channel, all that of my own. I remember you using that uh, word the other day, so just wanted to throw in. Uh, so, yeah. Any oh case, man, I have such, uh, I have you're I have great people on this channel. That is that is very cool. Pontificate. Yeah, that's yes. a, that's a word that the lumberjack would be impressed with. It's you know, it's yes, got, it's got yes. more than four letters in it, so that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the king of multi-slabic. Yeah, yeah, he he's, is. He's good. He is. Uh, yeah, he is wicked smart. That guy. Uh, oh but no, I, definitely. Yeah, we'll I, talk about that off camera. But yeah, yeah I, I digress. So what I want to talk about here is the non-QM industry. I, I want to remind people kind of where it was born, where it came from. I'll give you my opinion of it, and the reason I want to talk about this is I think the non-QM lenders, all of them. Velocity and all the others, I believe mm -hmm. the industry is about to come into focus because the powers that be have made it very clear via their extra fees and higher rates that investors are bad and homeowners are good. I'm not, right. not going to get into rights and wrongs and all of that. I just know if right. I'm an investor, given right. the rates, the terms, the, buy, you know, the, the criteria that for most of us, it's going to be better to go to a non-QM lender. It's faster, more flexibility. I can borrow an entity or an LLC, yeah. all of those right. things. So let's go back to the beginning. When, yep. you, when I say, where was non-QM born? What, what, what mm -hmm. would you be your opinion? Because I'll give you mine. Because again, I think uh, right after the Maury's meltdown, mm -hmm. uh, you know, was subprime kind of went away. Um, there was a market that pretty much was underserved because again, many people still are in that gray area or not outside the box in a sense as far as conventional financing. Mm -hmm. So um, the only place that you had to kind of turn to at that time when subprime kind of went away was to hard money. Uh, so there's this huge underserved market between mm -hmm. traditional hard money and conventional financing that yeah. I think that's where the uh, you know uh, uh, non-QM space uh, derived from. Because again, there were certain other litigations that came about as far as Dodd-Frank and things of mm -hmm. that nature so that you couldn't go back to really subprime is where, mm -hmm. you know, where it used to be. Uh, but I think for the better. And then, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I think just yeah. the uh, mother of all uh, uh, inventions is necessity. And I think right. at that point, something had to come out, uh, you know, out to the market that, again, in, in, in even in, in higher interest rate markets from relatively what you perceive, you know, previously or, mm -hmm. you know, recent years. Yeah. It's still a good um, product to have in your arsenal only because, yeah, as rates kind of creep up, like you said before, the, the delta between yeah. conventional financing and, and non-QM kind of is not, not that huge of a margin, but the yeah. ease of, you know, the, the ease of use of the product, yeah. uh, flexibility, and of course, I love the term of, you know, a make sense lender. Sometimes you just don't fit the box. Sometimes there's yeah. some quote unquote hair on the deal. Uh, if you've had, you know, some other compensating factors, uh, we can kind of offset that and, and, and overlook that sometimes. Yeah, we'll do a video number two on Make Sense Lender because I want to give some examples, but we'll leave that for number two. What I want to talk about here sure. is why the non-QM space, in my opinion, came about. So again, mm -hmm. I was I was buying uh, before subprime was a thing, right? So again, back in the day, we're talking early 2000s, there was a prime right. market, which I fit in nicely. Mm -hmm. Then as, as the market started to get hot, hotter, Again, I was brought something called Alt A. Right. Alt A was, you know, was a product that was a little, little more expensive than Prime, but was a lot mm -hmm. faster. Right? It wasn't right. as many T's right. and C's and all of that, and it right. just made sense. I could do 80, 10, tens, you know, all of those things in the Alt A product. And then obviously right. it got bonkers <clears throat> with Subprime two and twenty eight teasers, which I refused to play in because they just right. didn't make financial sense to me. But that was there. Right. Then it all blows up. <laughs> then it all blows up. And 
I'm looking at buying a house. So again, I experienced all this, right? That's why I keep telling people there's a housing market, but folks follow the lending market because that drives the price. Nice. And nice. I walk into Wells Fargo, who I've had a relationship with now for 35 years, all my wow. money for a while. Now it's diverse, mm -hmm. but all, all everything, right? And I'm trying to buy a house. This is probably 2009, might be 10. Trying to buy a house for less than I bought my first house for in Norris Drive. And Wells Fargo tells me no, right? I'm a prime borrower, 800 credit, probably 780 at that time, six right. figures, seven figures. I mean, like never missed a payment. The, down, right. the downturn didn't hit us because I was in apartment buildings by this time. And I'm just trying okay. to buy another house, right? It's a nothing. It's a nothing loan, at least in my opinion. Right. Sure. And Wells Fargo, a prime lender says no. And I didn't know they could do that, but they can. <laughs> So I, I walk across the street. It, it, I live in Mount. I, I walk across. There's a street in Ca called Castro. I walk across the street to a Bank of America, another mm -hmm. massive bank. Doesn't know me from Adam. Right. I try to buy the same house. They tell me, "Hell no," and "F no," and you're the problem. And they just they let me have it. I'm like, Jesus Christ! I never missed a payment. Wow. What, do mean, what do you mean I'm the problem, right? Because <laughs> at that point, B of A had bought Countrywide, and they were getting slammed every month by write-offs. I'm sure. But anyways, right. it was not a pleasurable conversation. So what did I do? Sure. I Because I could have bought it cash, but it would have been the only thing I could buy. Right. Instead, I go to a hard money lender. Three points, 12% mm -hmm. interest, 65% right. of purchase price, not value purchase right. price. Right. So which was the best. Down. Yeah, 35% down. Crazy amount, yeah. right? Um, so again, that's that's a problem. And I can't keep going. So that's the environment right. I'm in. And that's where I believe right. non-QM was born is right. out of that mess because Correct. to go from prime loans, which were probably 6% at that time, right. to 12%, there's, there's a lot of meat on the bone to, <laughs> uh, you know, to solve that. So uh, that, that's exactly the environment where I think non-QM is born. And why this is important for investors is non-QM, in my opinion, my opinion, mm -hmm. has always been for the investors. All products created, right. investors. Um, 100%. There, there, it's just... They don't deal with owner oct because of, of Dodd-Frank and all the extra layers. They're an investor product. And I am so right. thankful you're there. You have created products the market needs. You got me 30-year money on an apartment and an right. office, which is not supposed right. to happen. So it's crazy. It's crazy <laughs> what non qm has brought to the market. So thank you. Um, my pleasure. Well, I didn't know, do much other than work there, but thank you. Um, but no, I, I, again, I think... Some of the advantages with non-QM, you know, versus conventional financing are starting to kind of be more, you know, uh, uh, relevant in this new economy because mm -hmm. of certain restrictions. Obviously, like you said, um, Fannie and Freddie are having more overlays for non, uh, yeah. or for uh, non-owner-occupied or rental property. So yeah, yeah even the second homes, up, yeah, right, quite a bit. So again. Um, our floor is six four nine for now, um, you know. But again, thirty year fixed. A lot of the limitations that you would have with conventional financing, such as a limit of ten, we don't have that. Yeah, entities um, you know. don't have it. I mean, correct. Yeah. So um, again, I think the market. So again, as I've told people, I think the transaction volume is going to fall off a cliff this year and next. I think right. that is going to provide lots of motivated sellers, frustrated landlords, older investors wanting out. So the market's coming to us as investors. The one rental at a time family, people doing the work, mm -hmm. deals are going to come your way. And mm -hmm. in, in my opinion, you know, you can disagree with me if you want. A, a couple of years ago, the gap in cost, meaning rate, was a couple right. of points. Sure. Because there was just, you know, hey, the, the Wall Street or um, the Fed was buying everything, including investor loans, right? right? So the gap was right. 200 basis points. It's not that today. Uh, in many cases, I've seen quotes where it's under 1%. Right. Now, of course, if you go get a bank loan, great. But a lot of investors don't want the headache, the hassle, the, the, it's, 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 there is a There's cost. pros and cons with yeah. these. Right. Right. Yeah, so so yeah. I just um, love the fact that it's almost even now. I'm like, damn, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Agreed. Cause that's been going very well, you know, for us as well. Um, also, I wanted to share uh, uh, as far as um, uh, with uh, non-QM, I, I think it, in, in comparison with conventional financing, uh, you do have, uh, again, uh, not only the limitations, but uh, the fact that 
Um, we don't report to the credit bureaus as well. It doesn't impact your ability to get other financing moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, you know, better terms on credit cards, car loans, things of that nature. Yeah. Um, also, you know, with the whole motivated sellers, we're seeing quite a bit. Well, at least me personally, because I I don't get to see everybody's pipeline. Sure. But as of late, you know, where if the appraisal came back maybe slightly less than what the purchase price would be, mm -hmm. yeah, the sellers are actually taking them. They're not yeah, like the trying to renegotiate changing, or making the, yeah. the, the buyer come in with a difference. The sellers are like, you know what? Yeah, I just want to close this quickly. You know, uh, I'm trying to see things are yeah. staying in the market longer. So, no, you, you are correct. Again, um, the weatherman of finance, you, you know, you called it, you know, here yeah. comes a storm, you know, get, get your umbrellas ready kind yeah. of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, folks, uh, Steve, we got a playlist on this channel. Go back. I think it's called Stephen Dow or maybe it's called non-QM Stephen Dow. Go back right. a couple of months. Uh, he helped me get some some. 30 year money on apartments with most of you. When I say 30 year money on apartments, some of you get it. Most of you just don't even hear it. 30 year money right. on apartments is not normal. Right. Usually it's 25 year AM, which makes a difference. Right. And second, right. it's usually fixed for three, five or seven. I right. got 30. Right. Oh, by the way. So again, <laughs> I think, I think the entire non QM space, everyone velocity and all the others, Agreed. I believe your time is coming because I think mm -hmm. investors are, it's kind of back to 2010 where banks like Wells Fargo and B of A, mm -hmm. my personal story are basically like, no, we don't want to lend to you. We want to do homeowners. Right. So, and we're going to still find deals. There's still going to be uh, owners that want out. There's still deal with deals with hair on them. We still want right. to be, we want to be the answer. And Agreed. I think non QM is, is a space to go. So if you're looking at deals folks and you're not sure you can get a loan, maybe with bank, uh, Matt, the mortgage guy or others, Reach out to a non-QM lender like Velocity Mortgage, right. Stephen Dow. How do you want them to do that? Well, uh, that would be SDAO at VelocityMortgage.com. Again, in the subject line, just put uh, the acronym O-R-A-A-T, which stands for one rental at a time. The body email, maybe just a brief description of what you're looking for as far as property type, uh, you know, as far as financing, and then is it a purchase or refi? Uh, at least maybe city and state as far as where the property might be located, just to make sure that, you know, we land there. Maybe your mid-FICO score and the best number to reach you at, typically 24 to 48 hours, I'll be in touch. There you go, folks. Do yourself a favor, reach out, see what's possible. Again, in this environment, you want to make sure you, you have a line of sight to getting approved, the loan. Reach out, tell him what you're doing. If he can't do it, he'll tell you. Then you got to go somewhere right. else. And oh, by the way, he's Agreed. been doing this a while. He'll, he'll probably give you a referral to someone else as well. No pressure. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you're welcome. Bye-bye.